Home TV's Good Life shows off the good things happening right here in our own backyards. It's a local show featuring local artists. It's all about family, tradition, about working hard and playing harder. It's all local every weekday morning. Local features that revolve around your life. MTV's Good Life on MTV. Happy Monday, friends. It's great to have you along with us, and uh, it's going to be a gorgeous day. Tim is bringing us a gorgeous day today and tomorrow. Some rain on Wednesday, but yeah, looks good. So yep, I'll happy take it here. We'll take it. After I'm last week, up. I know my it. attitude was not very good. Oh, it and was, it should yeah. have been. My kids were home, but just not very good. Dreary. Yep. Dreary, dreary, dreary. Yep. So, so welcome to day? summer. Do you have a good, did you all have a good Mother's Day? Did you have a good Mother's Day? I did. Good. Hopefully all of our friends viewing did, and hopefully you did too. And Yep. Yeah, so good Any, Mother's Day had by all. Anytime you can golf the whole weekend. And we got yard, you'd be proud of us. You'd be proud of Dee. Why? What did he do? Because he did some, he worked yard in work. his garden, and we did some yard work. The boys yes. weren't very impressed, but yeah. you know, you always think you got most of it done, and oh, then you go look around this it. corner. Oh, wait, this... Yeah. It'll be all summer long, but yeah, it was a good weekend to do so. Yeah, it was a good weekend. And not only was it Mother's Day yesterday. Uh-oh, bring it out. Was it, was it, when was it, Sunday? That's the 12th. National, well, let's go to today. Um, Mother's Day was one. Today, or we're looking at days to celebrate. It's um, National Fair Trade Day, International Hummus Day, and National Apple Pie Day, National Fruit Cocktail Day. We should have done recipes with these. What were you thinking, Carol? I don't know. National Fruit Cocktail. Well, we could have come up with a recipe for fruit cocktail. Yes, and I have okay. one. Do you? Yes. Thank you, Sue Kessler. Yes, I do. And who puts those cherries in fruit cocktail? Bleh. I don't like them either. They're Thank like goodness plastic. there's only like one or two at each. I know. You it's actually like eat them? Well, you know, when I, give I was them to my little, mom. I have, but I haven't since then because they do. They taste like plastic, like syrupy plastic. Anyways, have fruit cocktail, apple pie, and hummus today. And buy something fair trade because those are the days today. Just thought we'd let you You'll know. learn a lot when Carol comes to work, let me tell you. You do. So we get to today's Facebook question? Yes, please. Because this was inspired. This was a viewer wanted, Sharon Timmons wanted us to ask this question. We're oh, okay. settling a dispute amongst their family. Oh, let's settle it. Are you for ready? You. Yes. I'm going to go to the newest I'm here. I'm going to settle it for you. Okay. Sharon. How do you peel potatoes with a peeler or a knife? Peeler. Peeler, peeler. Kim says peeler. Karen says peeler. Jackie says knife. Norma Stevens says with a peeler peeler. Grace must use a, oh, she uses a paring knife. Deb uses mm. a peeler. Pam Downer says peeler twice as fast and I have a potato left when I'm done. That's true, right? Yes, Pam. And yes. Um, Chris said knife. Linda said old school paring knife when I peel them. Usually scrubbing, scrubbing skin on. Huh. Sarah said peeler. Janet Strong said peeler for sure. Mm -hmm. um, Chair Charity says, I use my husband to peel potatoes. There you Good go. Work. I like that. Um, Kay said, whatever is handy, both work fine. Mary said, peeler, then use a knife to take the bad spots out, mm -hmm. if any. Lucy Todd, my Lucy. next door neighbor, said, peeler, and backwards towards me. Look at her. Um, Marjorie said, peeler. Stella said, I use a peeler if a knife. I use the peeler. If I use a knife, there's no potato left. Yeah, I think peeler's winning. I think peeler is. Margaret said, knife if I peel. Katie uses a fillet knife. That could be dangerous. I mean, I'd fillet all my fingers off and those become... Diana Erbaum said definitely a knife. Teresa said knife. Jarrah said knife. Kim said knife. Oh, uh -oh. wait a minute. We're getting uh -oh. a lot of knives. Uh oh. Misty said a knife. It's much quicker. Angela said peeler, but I don't usually peel them. They like them with the skin on. So let us know how you peel your potatoes. <laughs> Idaho spuds. That's how you That's do it. How Actually, you, I, I've had those, and those make great mashed potatoes. You cannot tell from those that those are not real potatoes. Really? Yes, because I've I've used them on my boys, and usually they can tell, but those are not good. Anyway. So, Sharon, I don't know if we helped um, with your dispute Peeler. at all. 
I don't know. Once you come look, there's, I think it's half and half. So at the end of the day, Kara will count all these for you. Yes, I will. Because there's, what, over 115 comments? Yeah, so keep them coming because so. Carol wants something to do later. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to go get my back check later. Oh, that's and you right. Know, I know oh, today's she the will day. let me do it. Yeah. Thank goodness, because Carol spends a lot of time in her garden. Yeah, so, but you know, today it doesn't hurt. Of all the days, I'm going to go see when you get Dr. Done. Schrock. When, it, when you I get know, done. I know. I, yeah. I. But it's been hurting you for a couple weeks, so but there's it's, no. It's okay other, now. Oh, but you're not. You're going. It's okay now. You're so going, maybe I Missy. should just wait. No, because what did Dr. Schrock always says, and this is something that has stuck with me: your body is a machine. And you don't want it to run out of gas, do you, Carol? Because no, then, okay. then your machine it's can't go. Refueled. So you need to go. That's, I'm okay. That's Mommy Ronnie speaking. I'm okay, though. It doesn't hurt. Liar. You wait. You wait till you do some exercises. Yeah, that's true. Then. Very true. Speaking of doctor, go ahead. Um, no, saw a great Netflix movie this weekend. I think okay. it's called Deep Sea. You guys have to watch this. It's like a documentary movie type thing, more of a documentary, but. It's about these um, professional um, divers that go into these tanks in the North Sea. What's it called? Saturation dive. A saturation diver. Have you ever heard of this? Seriously, this was amazing. Oh. They go into the deep, into the North Sea in these huge, you know, vessels, and then they have to live in these in these little like tubes for 28 days for the pressurization to all adjust. Then they go down to the bottom of the North Sea and work on the oil rigs. Ooh. It was fascinating. Who knew that Ooh. there's somebody in the world that works on oil rigs well, they, in the you, bottom of the North Sea? That would be interesting. Knowing that Very. one of our coworkers' husband works on oil rigs, yes. that would be interesting to see. Oh, my God. You know, and all, all, everyone on the ship, if it wasn't for one person on the ship doing their job, nothing would work together. So. I mean, talk about and what's that brilliance. Called? I believe it's called Deep Sea, Deep sea. on Netflix. She got it. I think it's one of the newer ones. But Is Murder, She Wrote on Netflix? I need to know. How's the, how's the music go? My daughter for Mother's Day <laughs> memorized the intro to Murder, She Wrote. So Everyone should. It. Yeah, why not? Anyway, we got a great show for you coming up today on NTV Ski Life. What's going on, Carol Ann? Well, sometimes you need to call in the experts to help you with a job, and we tank along with this crew of experts in dropping this old microwave tower near Rosemont. And it is a birthday party for all ages, celebrating the child and all of us. We'll tell you who or rather what is turning 30 and where you can join in all the fun and activities. That and Carol's shares the special recipe next on NTV's Good Life.